What's going on everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to tell if your BMW, well I don't know if this applies to all BMWs, but I have a BMW M135i and if you have the same entertainment system that I have, then I'm guessing it's going to be the same. I'm going to be showing you how to tell if you have adaptive suspension slash dampers. Now originally I didn't actually know that I had this and it could be the same situation for a lot of you and maybe that's why you're watching this video because you don't know if you have adaptive suspension. My car wasn't actually advertised with it, I bought it, well I bought it, you know, it's a, it's a really high spec car, it's, you know, it's nice and modern for me anyway, um, it's on 20,000 miles and the rest of the car is big specs, it's got like the sunroof, it's got the red leather, heated seats, all that good stuff. So I did, I you know, I wanted adaptive suspension, but it wasn't like a must for me. But yeah, it turns out I do actually have it on the car. So that's just like a bonus because obviously from factory, that's quite an expensive optional extra. Before we get into the video, I just want to say a massive thank you for the support on the car videos on the channel. Obviously, we've been doing them quite consistently now, most Sundays. And yeah, they're actually just overwhelmingly, you know, good, do, doing so well. So thank you all for the support. It means the world. Uh, yeah, it just it's so rewarding when you know I upload a video and so many of you are like interacting with it and actually you know well just watching it. Um, so yeah, massive thank you. If you are new around here, please smash the subscribe button and uh, hit the like button on this video if you do enjoy. Without further ado, let's show you how to tell if your car has adaptive suspension. Right then, guys. So first thing, start the car. <laughs> um, so we want to do. We got. Obviously got the entertainment system here. I can just go back out to here. So yeah, we're on the main menu here. Um, if you just scroll down, why is it flickering like that? It looks so weird on, on the camera, but it's not actually doing that in person. But um, yeah, if you go down to settings on the system and then you go into driving mode. So you have these options, um, on mine at least you have these options. So you've got configure sport, configure eco pro, and then obviously driving mode information. So if you go into eco pro, you'll see that you can't really configure anything. So obviously the whole point of that is to keep it, um, you know, to try and save some fuel if that's even possible in this car. But if you go into configure sport, and um, so you'll see these options here. So what I've read on the forums is that if you have the chassis option, and then obviously drivetrain and chassis, which is why I have it on, Apparently that means that you do have the adaptive suspension so because you can obviously change the chassis So if you can if you have the chassis option or you know drive train and chassis That means that you have adaptive suspension which I was over the moon about really because as I said my car was advertised Without it. So a lot of you might be thinking why did I you know look into it? Why did I originally think that I had? Well that I didn't have adaptive dampers and then why did I you know? get the inkling that I did have them. So basically, when I start the car in the mornings, you have to leave the car sit for a while. So because obviously I've started the car today and stuff, it doesn't do it. But from the, the back end of the car, when I would unlock the car, so if, obviously when you press unlock on your key, I would hear like, zzz, like as if the car is like rising. And yeah, that for me is what, I, I don't know if that's anything to do with adaptive suspension, mind, but for me, that just gives me the, the this little inkling that it had it um so then yeah i just started looking into it basically and you know i i was really happy when i when i realized i had this option because i've read so many forums that say if you have the chassis option you've got adaptive suspension so then yeah i obviously you know i was happy paying what i paid for my car without the adaptive suspension so to, to find out that i actually had it was just a massive bonus i'll try and get that noise on camera now guys but obviously because i've started the car today uh, it might not do it so yeah i'll do my best okay so the car's locked i'm gonna try and do it now nah okay so it needs to sit for a while but yeah try that guys you're, you're coming from this sort of area but yeah if you if you unlock your car as you unlock it let me know if you hear like a uh, that sort of noise when it's like rising um, because that's why you I believe it'd be interesting to know if you do hear that noise down in the comments guys because obviously if you never hear that noise and you know that you don't have adaptive suspension then maybe it is something to do with it so it'd be nice to know whether that's one of the factors because I couldn't find anything on the internet about that noise so yeah let me know down down in the comments 
when you unlock your car, do you hear that noise as if your car is like rising slightly? Because yeah, I, I feel like that's something to do with it, but it might be nothing at all. And maybe I'm just being stupid. But um yeah, also let me know if you have found out through this video that you've got adaptive suspension due, you know, due to going into the into the settings and having that option. Um because yeah, it'd be nice to know whether, you know, you do have the option or not. From every forum I've read it says that if you have that option, you have adaptive suspension. So I am going off the forums and yeah, you know, I'm I'm happy because I have the option. But yeah, let me know if any of you have it or if you don't have it because I would love to know. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video again, guys. Um, as I said, massive thank you for the support on the channel. And um, yeah, hope you've all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next.